Hello and welcome to another Windows 7 screencast. I'm David Strom. Do you worry that if your PC is stolen, someone can copy all of your data? Then you should encrypt your hard drive and removable USB drives too. In this video, we'll look at how Windows 7 has beefed up BitLocker, its built-in encryption program. There are a number of third-party encryption tools such as TrueCrypt and PGP Disk, which we're looking at here. BitLocker was introduced in Vista and was too difficult to set up and administer. It is much improved in Windows 7, and you can now find it in the Control Panel System and Security Settings. First, the drive preparation is integrated with a wizard, as you can see here as we step through the process of encrypting our drive. If your PC doesn't have a trusted computing platform module, you'll need to store the encryption key in a file. To do this, you first need to enable Group Policy by going to the GP Edit and navigating down the menus, as you see here to get to these screens, where you'll need to spend some time setting up the various policies. Second, there is a program called BitLocker to Go that can be used to encrypt USB or removable drives. The software can only be installed on the entire drive, and the files that you encrypt on it will be able to be read with XP and Vista PCs, although you can't write files back to the drive with these older OSs. Finally, for the IT managers, BitLocker's recovery keys can be managed with a data recovery agent in these policies. We go back to the Group Policy Editor and start the Add Recovery Agent Wizard, where you can set up a user with special credentials for this task. We have links to more in-depth resources on BitLocker's features on the associated page with this video on our website, along with other how-to screencasts on other Windows 7 features. Thanks for watching.